Golf is complicated. Golf is hard. Golf takes a lot of time, money, effort, and dedication. So what the hell are we doing? Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to try and help your game. Sometimes I don't do a very good job of that. I don't know. This is going to be a little bit of an unconventional video, so let's get started. Oh. solid actually <laughs> oh man okay so let's get into this video what exactly is this video about I don't really know I, I think I know what I want to talk about but it's not it's not formulated in my head maybe some of the comments that you leave me down below maybe maybe we can sort of hash this out and we can all put our feedback in and, and try and figure this out together as a unit as a community we're no different now than we were decades ago as a whole, as a golfing community. There's no doubt that golf is a difficult, very tough game, and it's very demanding. It's, it's an awesome game, but you know what? Sometimes it's not so awesome. Sometimes golf is not awesome at all. Sometimes golf is very unawesome. <laughs> but take this for example, okay? If I don't swing a golf club for, let's say, a few weeks, and I just put them away in the garage, then when I come back, my expectations are probably going to be pretty low because I haven't kept up my intimacy with, with the game. I, I haven't practiced. I haven't played in, let's say, two months. Oh my God, when I come back, it's going to be just hot garbage, right? But now think of other things that you do. Think about, okay, I have not thrown a football I haven't thrown a football. In, in, in a long time, okay? It's been a really long time. But I guarantee you, if you get somebody in front of me, snap me the ball, and I drop back, and somebody runs a quick little hitch post pattern out there, maybe 10, 15 yards, I can lead them, and I can probably hit them in the numbers. I would say eight times out of 10, even not playing football for a while, right? Tennis, I have not played tennis in probably a year, right? But I guarantee you, if you get me out on the court and you stand out over there on the other side of the net with me, and then I get ready and I get set to serve, I guarantee you I throw one up and I'm able to serve over the net. It might not be the highest speed, but I could put it right over there on the other side of the net within a couple of, of, of swings of the racket. I guarantee you I could be dropping them in that box. They might not be Serena Williams fast, but uh, you know, I, I could play. I could, I could strike it solid. I could move through and I could play tennis. Now this is a volleyball, but pretend it's a basketball, okay? Now I haven't played basketball in a very long time. This ball is flat, by the way. But I guarantee you, you give me a basketball, we go three on three, we pick up, you give me a few minutes to get warmed up, get my J going, and maybe get a little bit of my, my crossover back. And, and, and I'll be able to ball. I'll be able to hold my own with, with most of the guys out there on the playground, you know, within, within at least a half a game, something like that. I'll be able to start dropping a few jumpers, making a few layups, Ding somebody up, right? But you take this out of my hand for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, and then you put it back in my hand, and you try and get me out onto the golf course, I mean, I'm not going to be worth a damn, as will most of us out there. So we've picked up a game, we've chosen a sport, we've chosen a hobby that requires this huge commitment of time and effort and, and knowledge. We have to actually learn and study it and then invest and keep, keep our tools sharp in order to be able to play even at a, a somewhat manageable level where you can, you can at least manage a four and a half hour round without having to go get poison ivy from looking for your ball out in the woods twice on every hole. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's just such a difficult game. There's no other sport that's like that. Even the phrase, it's just like riding a bike. I haven't ridden a bike in years, but you give me a bike and I'll hop right on there and I'll take off down the street like, like I didn't miss a day. 
But golf is completely different than that. And that is what is so frustrating at the same time. But it's also one of the reasons that when you get it right and you have a purely struck shot or you play a decent round, you play below your handicap, that's one of the reasons that it's so rewarding. It's because you know how hard it is to get this to do what you want it to do and to put it all together and have off the tee, out of the fairway, from the chips and the pitches and then the putts on the green and put all that together into one little package to where, damn, another thin one. Now I've always said on this channel that one of the things that I wanted to do was to try and be the guinea pig, to try and experiment and try things, to, to see what, what worked and what didn't, what had validity and what didn't. And, and to try out all of these different swings and expose you to the different swing methods other than conventional golf, because there's tons of conventional golf out there. If you want to learn conventional golf swing, man, there are a trillion coaches out there. There's a billion trillion videos that you can go watch that will explain conventional golf. But these people, these coaches that are off the radar, the ones that are teaching an unconventional golf method, I feel like they're really trying to do something to, to help people simplify the game and, and not require as much. And that's really the reason that I want to expose everybody to as many sort of unconventional coaches as, as I could. Uh, it, it, it ranges. I've gone through them for the years. I won't call them back out. You can go check out the channel and see all that stuff. But that's why I've always gravitated towards those coaches is because I feel like they're, ta they're trying to take something that is so complex and so complicated and, 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 and create something from that, that that all of us can easily understand and relate to just to be able to get the ball to, to behave at least 50 to 60 percent of the time and go in the general direction that we want it to go. But you know, really, have I done anything? Have I, have I made a difference at all? Have I helped any of you out there? Because honestly, I don't even know that I've helped myself. I don't even know that I've helped improve my game. And I start to ask myself, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing? What, what is the point of all of this? Why, why am I messing with all of these physical things with golf when there's nothing wrong with me physically? And I can step up here with no thought and no method whatsoever and just think about taking my right hand and hitting the ball. That's all I'm thinking about here. I just want my low spot in front of the ball and I want to hit the ball with my right hand. If I do that, you know, I, I, can, I can at least get around the course. I can at least get around the course that way. And if you can somewhat predict what the ball's going to do, I mean, you can strategize for that. You can plan for that. It doesn't have to be anybody's swing method. So maybe instead of focusing on the physical, Maybe what I really need to be doing is focusing on the mental. How to deal with a bad round. How to deal with a bad shot. How to, how to be able to, to, to go back like when a computer, when a computer is having problems, it'll pop up a prompt. And I'm not a computer guy, but it'll say, do you want to go back and just open in safe mode? Do you want to go back to the last known good configuration? Well, maybe when it starts to all go wrong on the golf course, maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need to go back and just sort of play in safe mode, right? But there's got to be some sort of a safe mode that you can fall back into to where you say, okay, low spot, just swing through, half swing, punchy. And that way you can at least advance it up the fairway. When you have those days, and I know you've got to have them like I do, where you feel like you've never swung a golf club in your life. You have no concept of what good solid strike is. Basically what I'm trying to say is this, is that maybe I've been focusing on some of the wrong things. Maybe I'm focusing on changing my swing and my golf physically out here, when really what I need to be doing is changing golf in here and up here. For me, and I know a lot of people out, out there like me, it, it's, it's really hard to find the time and golf can sometimes become a burden. Golf can almost be like a second job to us. We, we care so much because we know when it comes together, it is awesome. We, we put so much into it that it starts to really, it becomes something that consumes us. And we really need to just dial it back and say, hey, it's okay. It's just, it's just for fun. It's just a game. 
We, we don't make our living off of this. We, we can just enjoy golf and we don't have to give every waking moment away in a steamy hot garage. Safe mode. Well, that's better. That wasn't nearly as thin as the other two. I'm looking for the day when you see the handicaps of the general golf population start to drop and start to come down. And not because the clubs do all of the work for us, but because we started to figure out how to beat golf down and not let it master us. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up, give me some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.